as you can see I have on my bench this uh, is a 2 meter rig 2 meter radio FM that I've taken out of my truck uh, at first it, it I haven't used it and it's been installed close to 30 years I guess now nah, probably 20 20 25 28 somewhere along in there and uh, <clears throat> the display was messed up it was uh, illegible couldn't read it uh, and so I just kind of twisted it a little bit and so it was just a connection up in up in here so it, it's straightened up for now uh, while I'm in here I may go ahead and clean the connections uh, if if I feel like it <laughs> uh, the big issue is I went on to um, try to use it and of course our local club has added a tone onto the repeater so I programmed in the tone and I could not access the repeater so I thought it was my antenna so I hooked my handy talkie up onto the antenna and was able to access the repeater okay with just like three or four watts <laughs> so I said eh, something's wrong so I brought this down to the ham shack and I put it on my beam and talked to several you know I talked for a while on it through the repeater so I take it back to the truck it will not access the repeater so I bring it back it works fine on the beam not on the antenna I put the antenna analyzer on the antenna antenna the antenna works I put the handy talkie back on the antenna it works fine the antenna I believe works so I put a meter on this and so uh, the meter showed no output whatsoever but I think there's enough output that I was able to get in the repeater because I'm about five miles from the repeater and my beam is pointing directly to it so I believe that's it went online found that the Toshiba uh, this module sometimes has problems with some of the traces this cover will come off once I get this out uh, looking at the replacement of this is 99 bucks or 100 by the time you get it uh, this radio is not worth a hundred dollars. <laughs> I can buy I can replace it but uh, So I'm going to pull this out and see if I can find a broken trace or a bad component in this power module and fix it If I can fine if I can't that's fine, too so taking the screws out uh, Now I'm going to uh, You know unsorter it and uh, then uh, take it out. And we'll see what we find Okay, I've removed the uh, power module. Here's one of the things that uh, everybody talks about is the amount of uh, of heat sink paste that goes on it. Uh, this, I'm going to have to put some more on it. This seemed to have fairly adequate. Probably could have used more, but... Uh, uh, we'll make sure it has a, a lot when it goes on. I uh, went over and cleaned out the holes. Don't know if you can see that or not, but here's what we're going to do. I have been told that we can pry that off. And I don't know. The cover of it comes off. And I'm not sure. I think you may get in here and pry this off like this maybe let me get a smaller a smaller screwdriver one of them little skinny ones Let's see if I can pry it off these pins are awful won't call them fragile but I think I can get in here now well I said I could uh, you can't make it a mess it's coming off but boogering it up and you know what boogering is right okay here's the board I'm gonna take this up to the 
big magnifier and see if there's a break in the action here. Just with my eyes, it doesn't look like it is. But, you know, it doesn't take a much. It doesn't take a whole lot. I have um, looked at this with my magnifier and I was having difficulty in seeing. So what I started doing is I took my uh, uh, digital voltmeter, put it on ohms uh, with audio to beep. So I started going from uh, just running each trace like this and uh, just seeing if I could find something that was just didn't seem right somewhere and, and then uh, when I got over to here I uh, I didn't get anything there so I started coming down and around And so now I can oh I can almost see a break there <laughs> with a magnifier. I'm working right now trying to get a um, and and the the internet information that I looked up showed about in the same place in this. Maybe it was in this circuit, but it was down in this area here. I was thinking, I'll have to go back and look. But I can see it right in there. Just with my glasses now. But it just looks like an irregular place on the tinning. So anyway, with that said, I'm going to try to get you some close-up pictures. I'm booting up uh, my microscope and try to get some good, good uh, footage or some pictures uh, to show other folks and I'm, I'm thinking I can you know sort of that and uh, make, make that make that good again we'll see okay I'm going to try to attempt to you see that little L shaped piece of wire I took a piece of wire from um, a cloth covered wire that uh, a replacement wires uh, from my stock and I took one strand out of it and I made a little L shape and I plan on trying to put that right right in the break if I can find it with my knife I can get that to focus the break is right in here I never could get my microscope to work but so I'm gonna take this L and I'm gonna put it right there and solder it across there Then we'll check the continuity and then I'll put this all back together put a lot of heat sink compound on it I think I call it paste or something while ago but anyway um, we'll uh, put it back together and see if the uh, radio works I have made a bridge there hopefully I can put a close-up on it I got over onto this boogered it a little bit but it's there's uh, I didn't short it or anything like that and I've got that little L shaped piece of wire across there Got a pretty good sort of joint of there, I think. And let's see from here to here. So I think we fixed that. What's left is um, put some uh, heat sink compound on this, get that put back into the radio, and uh, try it out and uh, see if we were successful okay I've put the uh, rig back in the truck as you can see got a lot of glare sorry about that but it's mounted behind the seat and 
in a vertical position has been since the early 90s and so this first problem I've had with it so um, I don't know if you can see that readout or not it's WA4 PJP testing as you can see got full output power and only time will tell as we go along So, from Larry, from the hills of Tennessee, thanks for watching.